Today we are making the infamous egg yolk raviolo. Raviolo refers to one, multiple are ravioli. Fun little fact. You start with flour, try to find a double O flour. It is just a finer grained flour. You could use your regular store-bought flour, that's totally fine, but if you can find this, it's good to have around the house. Normally I do about 420 grams of flour and five eggs, but that's with large eggs. I have extra large in the fridge at the moment, so I'm gonna do a little less flour, about 10 grams less and four eggs and see how it turns out. If we need to adjust it, we can. I like to crack the eggs into a bowl first and whisk them there. Some people crack them right into the flour when they make the little well, but why take that extra step and have to then break up the yolks in the flour? I'd rather just do it all beforehand. So now pour your flour out onto your board or wherever you're working and go and make a nice little well or hole in the middle of it. I'm just gonna use the bowl that I have the eggs in. You can use whatever you want to do this. You can use your hands. Anything is totally fine. And then just pour your eggs right into it. I like to add a squirt of olive oil and then just start to throw in a little bit of that flour and start to work and work and work and make it thicker and thicker and thicker. And you'll notice when it starts to get clumpy. I notice here though that my wall is starting to break and the egg yolk streams right through. This is a classic home cooking problem. Not an issue though. Let it break out. I'm gonna grab my bench scraper here and just kind of push it all back together. As long as you're keeping it moving and you're keeping flour getting incorporated, it's not the prettiest. This wasn't the game plan, but it works totally fine. You really can't screw this up. Keep on working it. I do notice at this point, the dough is feeling a little dry to me. So I am going to, at this point, crack in one more egg. As you can see here, it is, yeah, it's, it's just shaggy and dry. So I throw that egg in now, break that back up, keep mixing it, and that's gonna have me basically back at my original recipe of, you know, 420 grams of flour and five eggs. Keep mixing that all up, and then once you get to this point, you could just kind of take it out and start use take the bench scraper away and start using your hands. Work it, work it, work it. You'll start to feel when it gets to the point that's acceptable. It starts to become real nice and glossy and beautiful, just like that. Keep working it for a couple minutes, and then we're going to let this sit for 15 minutes. Wrap it in some uh, you know saran wrap first, and just leave that out for 15 minutes before we come back to it. In that 15 minutes, we're gonna make our filling. Uh, I use ricotta with the egg yolk. Ricotta from the store, if you're not hand making it, which I don't recommend, is very wet. So I like to just kind of throw it into some paper towels and dry it out a bit. That way it's not all runny in your ravioli. We're also gonna mix in some Italian parsley with it. So just chop that up as fine as you can get it. And then we're gonna throw that all into a bowl. You got your ricotta there that I dried and the parsley bits. And we're just gonna mix that all up and make it a nice little filling. You can kind of decide the ratio you want here of parsley to ricotta. It doesn't matter, it's however you want it. Add whatever else you want also. I'm gonna salt it and pepper it at this point. We're also gonna salt and pepper the inside of the egg yolk. The easiest way to now get this into the ravioli is a piping bag, but most home cooks don't have that. So just use a Ziploc bag. All you have to do is fill it in, put it in a glass, which helps you fill it like that. And then you're just going to snip off the very corner of the bag like that, bam. That's all you need to do. Now it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna work this dough for about another five minutes just to get it exactly where we want. Look at how beautiful it's looking. It's not really sticky. It's a little bit tacky, but that's fine. Flour will get added at the end when we're working on it. And now rewrap it and we're gonna let this sit for a couple hours before we make dinner with it. If you're working on it uh, in advance, ideally you can let it sit overnight in your fridge and then just thaw it out a little bit. But here we are now getting ready to make the ravioli. This was about three hours later. It was a little tacky, so I put a little more flour onto it. I'm gonna cut it in half, use a half of this for another time. And now I'm gonna kind of just flatten it out so it could fit through my pasta maker. Run it from your largest setting down to Normally, depending on the pasta maker, one or two above the thinnest. You don't want this paper thin. It will likely break or puncture. You want to still have a little bit of pasta bite for a nice ravioli and to hold in the insides. I'm going to cut it in half also at this point so I can get it through the pasta maker easier because it's getting thinner and longer. 
and then we're going to make the actual ravioli. Ring molds are the easiest to use here. I like to use the non-sharp side and just kind of plan them out. Uh, this is a trick I got from Not Another Cooking Show. You use the, an even smaller one to kind of just help you plan out where to put your mix. And then we just kind of create a little nest using the ricotta and parsley mix. So when you drop the egg yolk in, it sits in a nice little, you know, happy hole. Make sure you're staying somewhere in the center. That one got a little out of control. It's just going to make your life easier to seal later on. And then just pop in your egg yolks. See how they nice and, you know, sit in there like a little seat. That's exactly what you're looking for. I'm going to then salt these right on the top. I decided not to pepper them directly, but I'm just going to throw a little extra salt right on top of it and a little bit of that extra egg white from the egg yolks to help seal. You don't necessarily need to do that. Your pasta will seal, but it just helps. Try to push some of the air out here while you can, and then we're going to go and cut them out. Very simple. Use the ring mold you already had and go in and just kind of cut them out and seal them. That's the most important part, is you want to really press these guys around the edges and make sure they're sealed, that way they don't leak out in the water. Normally, you won't have any issues. And then I like to throw them onto a tray with a little bit of flour, that way in case the egg yolk kind of soaks through a little bit, it keeps the flour dry, I mean the, the pasta dry. Get some water boiling, get some butter melting. We're just going to do a little brown butter over these. You can do whatever sauce you want. The sauce was kind of an afterthought here, so it didn't come out exactly as I wanted it but that's totally fine. You're gonna throw these now in boiling water. The flour will come right off, so don't even worry about that. Let them sit in the water for about two minutes. Very easy. They're gonna float most of the time. After that, you pop them out, and I like to put them into the pan with the butter for about one minute, maybe a minute and a half at most. And we're also going to baste them with the butter in this time period, which kind of just helps cook everything. You're not really cooking the yolk, so you don't need to worry about that, but it kind of makes sure that all the pasta is cooked, and it's it just a really nice ending touch. Another trick from Not Another Cooking Show, throw a little bit of that interior filling onto the plate to hold the ravioli so it doesn't get all slippery and slide away on you. After that minute and a half, we're going to pop it out there, throw it right onto the plate. Look at that beautiful brown butter. It's a little foamy, so I was trying to get under it, but it doesn't ultimately matter. Throw that onto your plate also. It's, brown butter never looks beautiful on a plate. So throw a little parsley on there. I'll give it a little pop of green. And now it's for the most important part. Let's cut into it. I kind of block it here, so apologies, but damn, beautiful. That's all it is, guys. Make whatever sauce you want. Try these. They're absolutely delicious. As always, thank you for watching.